Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is day 11 of the Lico Dairy Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's farm. Uh, right now, I'm in... Uh, I'm basically about two hours outside Hiroshima in a town called U o Otaki. Hopefully I'm saying that right. I'm on one of the mountains, on one of the peaks, as you can see. Ooh, that's weird. Now, as you can see, it's all clouds and fogs and everything up here. But still, it's the dot that matters, and I thought about it. <laughs> anyway, let's go to the problem. Oop. Yay, uh, I still have to work on these transitions. Uh, let me double check that I'm on the right. Okay, yeah. Cause, um, but yeah, uh, day 11. Let's take a look. Today is a hard problem, um, which is, well, that's going to be hard, I suppose. But uh, yeah, design graph of the shortest graph uh, calculator is a directed graph, 0 to 1, do, 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 add edge, your shortest path, the minimum cost of a path from node 1 to node 2. Okay, so basically, is it almost like an interactive shortest path, right? Mm, what is, let me look at the constraints. Constraints are 100, makes it a little bit dumber, uh, because then you can do n cube stuff, right? Uh, for because they're n square edges and they even have further constraints on edges and shortest path. I feel like in that case, I'm trying to do the math in my head a little bit. Uh, I feel like in that case, it's just like a uh, is it just not, like um, is naive good enough? Right. Mm. Oh yeah. I also hope you like the intro. <laughs> uh, but, uh, I'm I'm in uh, I'm in Hiroshima right now. Uh, about to head out. Uh, well, I have to pack and then head out. So hopefully this will be a short one, even though it always seems like a little bit longer. Um, and yeah. Uh, if you're interested in my relocks, uh, I'll remind me or I'll put a link below. Uh, I'm trying to push a couple of videos, or sorry, a, a video every couple of days, but it's it's a lot of work, especially when you're actually trying to do, you know, like, see stuff. But, um, yeah, All right, let's see. Uh, okay, so basically, how would I, man, my brain is not functioning right now. Just woke up. I feel like some sort of naive should work, right? I'm trying to think about whether I need to redo work. It's the problem. Right? Um, I mean, eh, maybe I'm just being silly. And cube is a little bit weird. I think that's the thing, right? Oh, sorry. It's, it's not a little bit weird. It's just... Oh, wait, wait, wait. You can't do it. So if every time you do uh, O of N shortest, yeah, I mean, okay. I'm just being silly, I think. I think I'm just trying to be a little bit too careful and optimize it even further. But given these constraints, if you want a shortest path every time you add an edge, well, you only have 100 nodes, so that means that the shortest path will do only, um, you know, 100 square, and that should be good enough even in the laziness. Lazy, 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 right? So let's just do it that way. Um, and if it times out, then we can think about what else to do. But uh, oh, and you still have some edges, okay? Yeah, it's a very really weird problem because it's hard, but like I think there's some like optimizations that you can do, possibly. Like maybe when you add an edge, eh, but I feel like that's just unnecessary. That's really hard. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, what do we do? What do we, we want to have an adjacency list, right? 
Uh, I messed up here uh, because I think there's a rake on this, right? Yeah. Oh wait, it shows. I I was thinking about breath first search. For some reason, I forgot about the rake. So I have to think about it a little bit more. Because then now the shortest path is not. It's uh. <sighs> you lock me. You can't have anything pre calculated because the. The greed because because for, for uh why I think that you can't have anything easily pre calculated is because um the core part of the shortest path algorithms uh at least the 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 well known ones uh like Dijkstra is uh is greedy right uh which is why it doesn't work on negative edges and in in this way uh it is almost like a, a negative edge in that. You know, like basically, you start at at infinity at you know at those nodes, and then when you add a uh, an edge, it's almost like you add a negative thing. And I'm wondering, how many edges can they give you in the beginning? Oh, in the beginning, they could give you a lot of edges, so it's only a hundred dynamic edges. I'm wondering if I could use the uh, because if I, if I now think about it in terms of negative edge, I'm wondering if I can. F um, if I could use one of the negative edge algorithms, but I don't think so. Because it's not meant to be for updates. Am I just, am I being too dumb? Hmm. Hundred squares on. Was ye log ye maybe a little bit too slow? Oh no, it's we log ye, right? For every vertex we do it. Okay, we log ye should be fine. Well, it's not really laggy, is it? No, because for every edge you update the thing, so it's e laggy, right? Okay. V plus e log v. That that sounds right. Log V is equal to 100, so that's why it's a little bit sketch near the end. Um, hmm. I don't think. When it could be possibly. Um, I'm trying to think when it can possibly be, uh, yeah. Right, I guess, um, mm, Okay, let's see. Maybe I don't do it this way. I mean, I could still do it this way, but um, let's just say we have an adjacency matrix, right? What, what is the complexity here? What, what am I trying to do? <clears throat> Maybe it is hard for this one. Okay, let's say we have an adjacency matrix. Ford will show us only n cube. That's fine. And then what does add edge do? Add edge. 
do, 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 do. Then we can do from every i to every to, using that edge as an intermediate, and that's n squared per core, so that's also n cubed. And then show us path is oh, maybe that works. I think that's a better constant for sure. Um, Something like this, right? Our agency matrix. And then. These are also symmetric, right? It's directed. I actually missed the directed part. Does directed thing do it change anything? Hmm, not sure. But I actually I definitely missed the directed part because you you saw it in the uh, <laughs> how I wrote the adjacency list. Oops. But yeah, uh, let's see. I'm, I'm, I I always forget all the loops between uh, Ford Warshaw and the. Uh, and uh, like the matrix modification is like very similar. But not. I guess they're only similar in that they're both uh, <laughs> three loops. But And I guess add edge then in this case would be just uh, oh and wait I don't know if this is quite right but uh and then we update all the other ones as well. Uh, if from I to U plus U to J plus W, something like this, right? So that matrix of I J is equal to min of the I J or this thing. I mean, this. Sh uh, did I know? Oh. Mm. Yeah, this is lazy. <laughs> I should use self dot infinity a bit. Uh, oh, also. Uh, yeah, oops. I did need to do. Wow, I'm really like noob today. Hmm. This is not good enough. U, V, J, and W. Okay. I feel like the idea is okay, but maybe I'm more. So to three. I said there's no cycles or sub loops. They are cycles. Uh, zero to three. Zero one one two three. Mm, I have to set um I'm not I'm noob. Yeah, okay. Uh right, let's go submit. Maybe I'm wrong on this one. I'm also worried about if it's uh, it should be fast enough, but maybe I'm wrong. Okay, just wrong answer. This is a ridiculous example to 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 have to debug. Uh, to be honest, um, I'm just not sure that the dice tray is going to be fast enough. I think that's the thing. I think that's the way that I would incline to go. 
but do I have to do any mod or something? What is the which part am I getting wrong? Isn't it like a diff button or something like this? It used to. Like I feel like the, it used to tell you what 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 is different. Uh, this is different. Is that the only thing? Not a helpful thing though. Wait. Does this tell you? Isn't it? oh there's the diff button. Okay, there you go. Uh, it don't even tell you the entire input. The last query is. Oops. Shortest path between nine and sixteen. I don't get, mm. How do I debug this? Did I mess up anything? Obvious. U to V to at the rate of W, right? So that should be okay. I mean, there's only one thing to do. Just print out. Oops. Print out. Uh, I don't think that's going to help that much, though. To be honest, but maybe it doesn't helps more than nothing. Nope, doesn't help that much. <laughs> but um, hmm. Oh, 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 oh. This is J to V. Oh, new. No way, is it? No, 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 no. This is V to J. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Did I still get it wrong? What did I thought it was? Okay, yeah, dumb. U to. Yeah, no, this is fine. But what if this updates in a weird order? Does that matter? Oh, whoops. Uh, maybe? I mean, I think that's a... Okay, wow. What a subtle mistake. Because basically, the edge you're adding is not... Um, that is a subtle mistake. The edge that you're adding is not uh, necessarily the thing. But apparently it's very slow. I think I did Daisho last time, probably, because I think that's still my. I don't. I'm kind of. I'm, what did I get wrong at anyway? Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. Um. I don't remember this problem, but I do remember like. I mean, if I have to guess, I probably spent a long time on this just because the 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 math doesn't feel like it works. No, I did do the Freud last time, but then I messed up. Oh, my Freud is wrong last time. Hmm. So maybe I did try to do both, but I, uh, this one is so hard to to reason because we log ye a hundred. Wait, did I mess up? We plus ye log ye. It's a, we we plus ye log v. So it it, eh, it really can kind of I don't know. This feels so input uh input. Dependent. But yeah, uh, the, the pre-construction is going to end cube, 
This is n square, which is fine because we only have basically another 100 queries. And this is obviously all of one. I'm going to just look at the tutorial real quick because I'm curious why. What, like, oh, okay, that. But, like, I mean, I know how to do these, obviously. I've done it before. But it's just about, like, Yeah. See, but that's the thing, right? M is a hundred. Y e is a, a hundred square, and log V is so like this is gonna be a hundred cubed times V, uh, times log V, which is I don't know. In Python, feels like it would be too slow, but apparently the inputs are such that it's not the case. Uh, Ford Warshaw is fine. I mean, that's what we did, even though it's very slow. Uh, in this case, again, this you know. Eh. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think we did it both ways, but but I think this is kind of a like you have to guess that a, a hundred cube times like a hundred is fast enough is going to be a very tricky cell. Uh, and even this, it went kind of slow. Even with this has a in theory better complexity, but I guess worse average time or something like this. So uh, average according to the input. So yeah. Um, I, uh, hmm, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. If you're watching, sorry. Uh, I think, I don't know. Eh. It is a very good, interesting problem, but it's just like not an, or it, the actual problem is actually interesting, but I don't think the solutions intended are kind of, you know, like they're just kind of silly, to be honest. They're a little bit weird. They're a little bit, uh, unrelated to the outgoes. They're just like a little bit about optimizing some like weird thing. Um, I don't know. That's how I feel about it. I'm not, uh, you don't have to hold me to this one because I don't feel strongly about this one in either case, to be honest. So, uh, but if I had to kind of feel something about it, I don't know if I feel that much about it. But yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. And yeah, I don't think I have an outro today. So stay good, stay healthy to your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.